Hey everyone, welcome to LogicalAnalyst.com where we show you the power of data in digital marketing. In today's lesson, we are going to see how to track form submissions on the website and capture that data in Google Analytics with the help of Google Tag Manager. So there are a lot of ways in which you can actually capture the form submission on the website, but there is a specific trigger created in Google Tag Manager named as a form submission trigger, which makes our task very easy to capture the form submissions. So over here, if you can see, we have a sample form, which we are going to try and capture this form submission. For that, let's go to the Tag Manager interface. The first thing which we need to do over here to capture the form submission is to know what kind of information we have available behind the form which we can make use of for creating the conditions under the form submission trigger so that our tag accurately fires whenever the conditions are met so for that we have some built-in variables actually available on Google Tag Manager, which actually extracts the data or the information from the on-page information available for us. So as you can see, if you can click on configure under the built-in variables, you can see you have a lot of variable options. I have already activated the form variables for us for this lesson. And now, all we have to do is to create a form submission trigger which will then be used in our event tag so we will name it as contact us form submission and under the tag three oh sorry the trigger type and under user engagement we will select the form submission trigger so as we want to capture one form, we will select the sum forms option over here and we will for now we will just save the tag because we actually need to first check what kind of form submission information do we already have available. To check that we will activate the preview and debug mode in Google Tag Manager and then go to the website and refresh it once so that the preview panes get ready. And now just to see all the information, we will fill up a test form. And we will submit this form. Once we submit it, you can see that there is a custom event, a built in custom event in Google Tag Manager named as form submit or gtm.form submit, which gets fired when the form is submitted. You can see over here it is now available. Under the form submit event or the custom event, you can go in the variables section and check what kind of form related variables and information we have available so that we can make use of that in the trigger. So over here we have the form classes and the form ID that is the unique ID given to the form which we can make use of to capture to put the conditions in our form submission trigger. So let's copy these attributes and put them as conditions in our tag sorry trigger so form classes equals the form classes which we copied and we just to keep or just to make sure that is the same form which is firing we will give the trigger a double condition so that it, the, both the conditions are fired the 
trigger will be activated so we are going to make use of the form id over here let's copy it we will use the equals condition so that whenever the form classes or form id is exactly equal to what we what we have given in the condition it will only and only fire in those conditions so now we also have to make sure one thing that whenever the form is only to be submitted or the tag is only to be fired when all the mandatory fields over here are filled so we will tell the trigger to check the validation so the validation it will check the validation on you can either give the page url on which the form is available or just put the condition as contains or you can use the regular expressions which are a little bit in detail and i'm going to explain those in the coming videos so this condition means the the page url matches all the pages on the website where this form is available so let's save the tag let's save the trigger and after saving the trigger we're now going to create a simple event tag which we saw in our last video and we will assign this trigger to the tag and then do all our testing before we publish the event so it will be named as ga event ga is google analytics event contact us form submissions under the tag configuration again we are going to choose the google analytics tag type and it will be a event and then under the category our category would be ideally form submissions because we would like to capture all the form submissions under one category and we will give the action name as contact us form submission through which we will understand that the form sub the form submitted under the event cat event action was the contact us form and we will what i mostly do is i use the page url as the for uh, the event label which makes it clear for me that this was the page to which the form was submitted and as usual we will use our google analytics settings variable which tells the tag about the property information where it has to send the data and now under the triggering section we will select our contacts as form submission trigger let's save the tag and we will refresh it once so that all the changes get updated and refresh the website now we are all set to do our testing of the tag we created we will fill up test form again And we will submit it so if you don't have the thank you page after submitting the form submission there is a good chance that the form is after submitting it it goes off and it there is just a thank you message and in that case you will not be able to check whether the tag has fired or not because the page totally changes so in that scenario you can just click on the submit button and click escape as soon as possible so that it stops the process in between and also fires your custom event which is the gtm.form submit event and in this situation you can check whether your tag has been fired properly or not so let's go under the form submit custom event 
we can see that our tag has successfully fired and all the settings under the tag are as we have already mentioned in the tag such as the category is form submission the action is contact us form submission and the label is the page url all the conditions which we gave in the form submission trigger have met such as the form classes is exactly equal to what we have given in the condition and the form id is correct and the gt and the event equals gtm.form submit this is because we have selected a form submission trigger and it will only fire on a form submit so we've done our testing let's go to tag manager interface and now we are ready to submit our changes you can give a proper name to the version so that you remember or you can easily make out that okay this was the version in which i had created this tag you can also give us a small description to the way, uh, version of the container which makes it easy to understand what uh, what all changes did you make in that container and you can finally publish that and after publishing you can see that the container has been updated and the newest version of the container is active and is ready to send data into google analytics so let's see if it is actually if the hits are actually sent into google analytics we will refresh the page once again so this is a normal procedure which i mostly follow to do all the testing and after testing publishing the tag and then seeing whether the hits are actually recorded in the property which i want So now that I have submitted the form, as I told you before, all the changes have, ch have been, the form is gone. You can only see the contact us. Form is gone and there is a thank you message and the page is totally refreshed. So this is the scenario which I was talking about in which you can click on the escape button and check all the changes. So let's go to our analytics and here, in the real time section under events you can see that the hit is ge is getting captured in the desired property in google analytics under the event category form submissions which was specified in the tag and the event action is contact us form submission so that's it for today and thank you for watching the video if you have any views please post it under the comment section and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.